going to start hoarding soon, and I wanted to know if you can come pick me up. So, is your stomach hurting now? Uh, no. So, why would I come and get you, Coco? Um, uh, be because I'm pretty sure it's going to start hoarding. Go back to class, now. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh. Well, if it starts hurting, can I call you back? We are going to have a problem. I know, because once it starts, there's no turning back. What if I just release, Mama? You're not serious right now. Release what, Coco? My bowels. If my stomach starts hurting and I can't control it, it may just come out and blah. It's just going to all come out. Coco, go back to class now. Your stomach is not hurting and it's not going to start. Have a good day and I love you. Don't call me from school unless it's an emergency. Uh, okay. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. You are so beautiful, my remote Little remote Cause you are... Coco, please stop with talking to the remote. Uh, if I had a baby sister, I wouldn't be talking to the remote. <laughs> For the last time, Coco, you are not getting a baby sister. But, but why? Because I said so. But why do you say so, Mama? Because you are not going to take care of her. Yes, I will. I promise. You remember how I took care of um, uh, nothing? But, but I'm a, I promise I'm going to take care of my baby sister. Yeah, it's a definite no for me. Um, Get somebody else to do it. Mama, uh, well, well, can you at least get my pet remote some food while you're out? He's hungry. This means hungry, and I he'll like some uh maybe some fruit snack. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Yeah, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Thank you, Mama. I've been practicing some new tones. Mm, I can dig it. Really? Go ahead and flow, Mama. Flow? Yes, just let the music take you someplace and give it your best shot. Rap. Dun, dun. Been flowing, flowing. Dun, dun. I just do what I do. Dun, 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 Okay, okay, I got this, but I'm gonna do my own beat this time. Boom. Boom. Rain, rain, it's been raining all day. I would say go, 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 go away, but I'm gonna make the best, the best of this day. I'm so happy, makes me wanna play. Rain, rain, it's been raining all day. I will say go, 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 go away. But I'm going to make the best, the best self is day. I'm so happy. Might as well play. Hey, 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 Please don't ruin the surprise before he gets a chance to be surprised. Come on, Mama. I wouldn't do that. Um, your track record isn't the best. That was my past. I'm a big girl now. Come on, Mama. Let me see. Okay, okay. Look at it. Look at it and tell me what you think. Okay, let me see. Okay. You see? What? What do you think? Uh, it looks nice. Well, why are you saying it like that? What's wrong with it? Um, I just thought that it would be like maybe a new car, a new phone, or maybe something even simple like a baby tiger. What? <laughs> okay, well, I am so sorry to disappoint you, but I am sure he'll love it. And remember what I said. Don't ruin the surprise. Hey, Coco Buns. Hi, Daddy Daddy. How was your day? You know what? It was good. 
I mean, I had a little situation that was bothering me, but I'm home now, and that's all that matters. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Daddy, but oh, oh, Mama got no. I mean, you said what about your mama? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. So, what you been up to? Just chilling, you know, regular chilling. <laughs> okay, well, that's good to hear, cause. You're not being strange at all. Uh, no, no strange stuff over here. Nothing over there, big guy. Nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Coco, what's wrong with your neck? What? Uh, this neck? Yes, that neck. The one right here. It's hissing on your shoulders. Uh, uh, this neck has not been right in a while. Box is over there. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, that I'm going to box on over there. What is going on? And why are you looking what? crazy? What is she doing? Crazy? Who looks crazy? I don't look crazy. I'm normal. She's being extremely strange. <gasps> Girl! <laughs> I can't hold it any longer. Daddy, mama got you a gift. Talk up. Huh? At least the surprise made it this far. <laughs> you know. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting a surprise. Th that's why it's a surprise, Daddy. <laughs> oh, okay. This is nice. Yeah, this is real nice. Now I can use this to, you know, uh, baby, what is this? Exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Daddy. It's not a new car, a new phone, or a baby tiger. Well, this is a potato peeler, and this is an avocado slicer and scooper. It makes it a lot easier. How could you not know that? Wow, Coco. <laughs> that was thoughtful. Well, you know what they say. I guess it's the thought that counts. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Mama, you look absolutely stunning today. Oh, thank you. No, really, you're giving like mommy magic. Look at me, I'm cute. Oh my goodness, I'm beautiful. Oh, mommy, you look so cute. You, mom. Uh, okay, wait, wait, what do you want? Why would you ever think I wanted something? Let's start with because you're overdoing the compliments. How? I, I really don't want anything. I just wanna know, could we please, please, please have fun today? Um, yeah. As soon as you clean up your room. Oh, about that. <laughs> yes, about that. Get to it and then we'll make some runs. Ooh, you know what? On second thought, I'm good with staying home today. <laughs> Girl, go upstairs and clean your room. Who made this big mesh? You. You did, Coco. Oh. Yeah, so get to cleaning it up and I'll be back in a few. Clean, clean, all I do is clean. They said I made a mess, but I did my Stop best. Stop rapping and start cleaning. Now, I need you to start keeping your room clean all the time, capiche? Capiche, especially if it comes with treats like this. <laughs> Hi, ladies. What can I get you today? Uh, I think I'll have the pasta, please. Mm -hmm. And I will have the salmon. Okay, great. Uh, uh, excuse me, please. Um, I do have some changes to my order. Oh, no worries. Go ahead, sweetie. Uh, no onions. Okay, no problem. Uh, oh, oh, and uh, no green peppers or garlic. Okay, is that all? Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Coco, hurry up. I'm trying, Mama. Okay, well, this nice lady has other tables to go wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Miss Nice Lady. Uh, I, okay. 
Okay, I also would not like any red peppers or red pepper flakes. No problem, sweetie. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, can you please ask Chef Boron D to make it savory and not sweet? <laughs> Coco. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, for mom, we have the salmon dinner. For the kiddo, pasta with just sauce. Uh, bingo! Just how I like it. Oh, oh, can you put, like, extra sauce, please? <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Coco, why didn't you just say you wanted pasta and sauce? Oh, I thought I was making it easier for her. Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> they, they, were, they were talking about me. Who was talking about you? The, the, the kids at the park, they were talking about me. They said I had little weak legs. Oh, no, they did not talk about my baby. Okay, come on, Coco, let's go. Uh, oh, we, we about to go beat them up. Come, come. Mama, but wait, we, we can't go by ourselves. I know what they're gonna do to us. We probably should get daddy. Oh, I, I wasn't talking about to the park to fight, Coco. Oh, well, why are you saying to come on? Because I know something that'll make your legs stronger. Really? Yep. Oh, what about making them longer? Uh, well, they'll get longer as you get older. Oh, because when they grow, I really have a lot of things that I wanna do. Walking. Well, it seems like you were really getting down with that footwork. But I can't do it. See, look, look. <laughs> oh, well, come on. I have something I want to show you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, close your eyes. Okay. Okay. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay. Keep them closed. Can I open now? Not yet. Okay, five. Oh, it's heavy. Five, mm -hmm. four, three. Two, one, one. go ahead, open up. Here you go. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> oh, uh, I don't see a she, mama. I just see a broken bike. <laughs> She's not broke, Coco, and her name is Catwoman. Catwoman? Who names a bike Catwoman, mama? Well, I didn't name her. She was named by your grandmother. Your grandmother gave her to me, and now I'm giving her to you. Uh, th thank you, Mama, but I think it's time that we start over. I really would like a bike that's already fixed. Coco, do you want stronger legs? Yes. Do you want to shut the bullies up? <laughs> yes. Do you want a footwork? Yes. Well, let's get Catwoman back running. Okay. requires quickness. We're gonna tell a story and we're just gonna make it up as we go, okay? You force. Okay, um, once upon a time there was a little girl named Sarah. Sarah was a giant and she had super big hands. But everyone else around her was smaller so it kind of made Sarah sad. 
Sarah did everything in her power to be friends with people, but people were scared of her. She would walk around the city and everybody would just run. Even there was a time that Sarah went up to this little girl. She said, hi, I'm Sarah. And she just screamed and ran and said, get away from me, you big giant. And this made Sarah really, really sad. Sarah would just sit in her room and cry and cry and cry for hours because everyone would be so mean to her. And her mom would try to tell her that it's okay to be different. But Sarah didn't want to hear it and she wanted to be just like everyone else around her. And then that's when it happened. Sarah fell asleep and she fell into a deep, deep dream. This little bitty man came walking up to her. He tapped her foot and said, wake up, wake up, wake up. And Sarah woke up in the dream. She didn't know what to do. He said, we're going on a journey. And the little man showed Sarah just how special she was. He gave her a glimpse into her future where she helped people and helped change the world. And then Sarah woke up and she was so happy. She felt like she can do anything and she was ready to accomplish so much. So the next day, Sarah went to school and she walked in with her head up high and she said, hello class. And she smiled and people were just like, is that Sarah? They were whispering all types of things. And she just kept smiling as she walked to her seat. And before you know it, people were coming up to her saying, hey Sarah, and trying to be her friend. And people started to realize just how special Sarah was too. They kept talking about how smart she was, how funny she was, and how they wished they were her friend a long time ago. Sarah taught people to never judge a book by its cover. She also taught people to be kind. You never know what really may hurt somebody's feelings. Sarah was a giant, but that didn't make her a bad person. It just made her different. After school, she couldn't wait to run home and tell her parents about her day. They were so excited to hear about these new changes and all the confidence that their daughter had gained. Sarah was so happy while telling her story that she started passing gas. And they were like, <coughs> her dad asked her, Sarah, is everything okay? She said, yes, daddy, I'm just so happy. And then she couldn't help it. But then she kept going and she even told him how they named her Sarah Longlegs. Then she ran upstairs and started making plans of all the things she was gonna do with her new friends. And then Sarah sat down and realized just how important it is to have confidence and believe in yourself. The next day when Sarah went back to school, everyone was walking on stilts. They were walking around because they wanted to be a giant like Sarah. It made her feel so good to realize that people wanted to be like her too. So not only did she realize that people did like her, but she also realized just how cool she was. Sarah was forever happy and everybody in the school became friends. Yay! That was pretty cool, Coco. I love that. We have to do this more often. Yeah, I am a pretty cool storyteller. <laughs> Summer break has officially begun. What's the plan? Mama, I planned this out for so long, so long. I said as soon as summer break started, I was gonna know exactly what I was gonna do. Now I have nothing. I can't even find the list that I planned and wrote out everything. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll come up with a lot more, ma'am. You have plenty of time to put a new list together. A, a, a new list? It, it took me almost six months to come up with the old list. Summer will almost be over by the time I come up with the new list, and then it'll be almost time for the next summer. Okay, calm down, ma'am. Calm down. Okay, while you think of some new ideas, I do have a cute little surprise for you. You, you did it. Oh, oh, O-M-G. But, Mama, you did, O-M-G, O-M-G, you did it! I did? Mama, you the mama! You the mama! Well, I'm so happy you're excited about the surprise. What should I name him? <gasps> Maybe Leo? No. Cupcake. Oh, that's not it. Juju. Wait, Mama, is it a boy or a girl? <gasps> oh, oh, I know, I know. I'm gonna name it D.O.G. Oh my goodness, Mama, thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you, I'm gonna love D.O.G. forever and ever. Oh, okay, 
right, wait, calm down. No one said anything about a puppy. I said I have a surprise for you. Yes, a little cute one. What else could that be besides a puppy? A lot of things, Coco. And I'm sure you'll be happy to see this too. Look, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but as I told you before, no puppy is coming here until you learn some responsibility, ma'am. Oh, okay. Well, get ready for your surprise because it sounds like it's here. Well, thank you, Mama. Even though it's not a puppy, it must be something that's breathing if it can walk through the door. Yep, and you can play with it too, which would be a great way to start your summer. Coming! Hi, Mrs. Tweety. Tweety! Hi, Coco. How did you get here? You live so far. I thought you were never coming back. Well, my mom, my dad, and I took a plane here to visit my grandma. We'll only be here for a few days, though. Oh, Trent, we have so much we have to do. Oh, I even saw you grew an inch. I did? No, sorry. I just wanted to make you feel good. But what shall we do first? Ooh, how about we do... Um... Okay, well, you all have fun. Coco, don't get out of hand. Be fair and don't be too loud. Oh, okay, I'll make sure he doesn't, Mama. Coco, I said you. Make sure you don't do any of those things. Okay. Coco, remember what I said. Okay, so what's first? You want to see my pet? Sure. When I come to your house one day, I could definitely see it. Oh, no. I brought him with me. Really? Mm-hmm. His name is Splat. He's really friendly. Wow. I wish my mama would get me a puppy. I've been waiting forever. I bet yours is so cute. Wait, how'd you sneak a puppy in here? He must be extra tiny. Oh, well, he's actually not a puppy. And he's a little scared, so don't scream. Oh my! Trent, you're walking around here with an alligator? He's not an alligator. He's a lizard. Oh, well, he's for sure not a puppy. I guess he's kind of cute. Can I hold him? Yeah, sure. Splat, Coco, Coco, Splat. Well, be gentle. <laughs> Hey, Splat, you weren't really what I was expecting, but you are kind of cool, and you feel interesting, too. See? Splat is cool. Uh, does he bite? Um, not all the time, just sometimes. What? Coco, no! Oh, my goodness, where did he go? My mama's gonna kill you! Me? You're the one who lets that go. I said be gentle. Yeah, that was right before you said that he bites. You know, things like that, you should probably tell people before you let them hold your pet. Hey, you hey, 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 what is going on in here? Uh, nothing, Mama, just playing lost and find. Oh, interesting. Well, pipe it down, please. Have fun, but not that much fun. We apologize for being so loud, Miss Streety. Thank you, Trent. Listen, we need to find Flat quick. His name is Flat. Well, he's gonna be Flat if my mama gets to him and steps on him. So stop whining and start looking. Oh, I just don't understand why you had to throw him. He's my best friend. Oh, well that's funny because I thought that I was your best friend. You shouldn't have thrown my okay, flat. Okay, you two are at it again. What's the problem? Well, go ahead, Trent. Tell Mama what you did. What I did? What? No, Coco, you don't want Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's not play the blame game. What is going on? Well, Mrs. Tweety, I bought my pet flat over. Um, I'm listening. Hello, keep going. What, Pat? I didn't see you walk in with anything. Mama, listen to me very carefully and don't move. What is happening? Um, I, I don't want you to get scared, but please don't jump, okay? But, but splat is in your hair. In my hair? 
that? I've been looking all over for you. I'm so glad you're okay. That was in my hair. Trent, put him away until your mother comes to pick you up. Okay, Miss Weedy. Uh, can I hold him again? No! Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco. Smile